Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Another Own Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover how you can save or move your iMovie projects slash libraries to an external drive or USB. In my case it's going to be a USB but it works the exact same way. So we're going to begin by opening up iMovie and uh, we have here we've been working this iMovie uh, tutorials events and uh, the project here. We have just a few clips in here, not that many. And this is just one little clip that we have here within the project itself. So I'm going to first edit this clip just to show you guys that it saves everything when you save it to or say yeah save it to your external drive. So I'm going to hit command B to split it here and I'm actually going to add a text, a simple text right here in between and we're going to actually blink that out and the text is going to say my video. So I'm going to change the color of this so it's easier to see and actually we don't want this down here either so there we go there's a text that says my video in the middle of it and we also split the clip so the way you want to save this is you're going to go back to your events and your project select the project that you want to save for example it's going to be my project of uh, my iMovie tutorials project and then we're going to go to file and then copy project to library or you can also do move project to library. I'm going to do copy just as I said save and I'm going to go to new library. So just in case you guys missed that, it's uh, up here. I have your project selected or projects, file, copy project to library, new library. And then what you want to do is select your, uh, apparently I, I didn't plug in my external drive. So I'm going to plug it in right now. I have to unplug my mouse. But I'm going to plug in my drive right now. It should pop up in just a moment. There we go. USB brain. That's what I named it. So I'm going to select the USB brain and I'm going to save it as iMovie library tutorial. USB brain and then hit save. Now it should go pretty quickly because I don't very I don't have barely anything in this project. As you can see up here the progress bar it says copying iMovie tutorial import should go pretty fast depending on how large your project is it might take longer so here we are it's saved and then now I can show you guys if you go to finder you go to your, that USB you can see right here that iMovie library tutorial now if you double click it it will open it up in iMovie as a completely separate um, event or library and then you have within that library you have events which is going to be this one the one my newest one and I select it open it up and you can see my latest change in here now to show you guys that the full effect it, it's it worked properly everything's at its full effect I'm gonna actually eject the external drive so we're gonna go I'm gonna close this out right click this and eject USB should should come out right here he couldn't be ejected because then he is using it. Oh yeah, we're still using it, huh? So actually, we're gonna go back to iMovie. Yeah, I am using it. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna go close library, iMovie library tutorial. That way, it's I'm not using it anymore. So there you are. It's closed. Now I can eject it. There you go. It's off. And let me unplug it. Unplug it just in case as well. There we go. Now I'll plug it back in. And let's check. Make sure everything's still there. So here we go, we've got iMovie library tutorial, and if we double click it, it should open up right in iMovie. Give it a second. And here we are, it's within iMovie. It's the 630, it basically puts in the date. And it looks like a default date. And then here we are, here's the here's the project. You double click on the project and it should open it right up right where you last left off. And we got that title that says my video. And uh, that's how you guys save a um, simple project to your external drive. And uh, also you can do this to events too by selecting an, ev an event, an entire event. Go in file, or no, not like that. So, selecting an event, file, copy event to library, go to iMovie, and then just choose the iMovie library tutorial, which is the one we created already within our external drive or you can just do a completely new library but on that you guys thank you guys for watching hope this video helped uh, and explain how to save them to external drives also one more note is uh, if you're going to plan on transferring these uh, 
this footage or these libraries to a different computer and, and then editing them from a different computer, uh, that other computer must have or must be the updated version or whatever version you're running at the moment with your current um, iMovie. Meaning like, for example, let's say the, the iMovie that you saved it from is uh, version 10.0. And now you're, you save an external drive from that iMovie. Then you transfer it to a different computer and that different computer is running 6.0 iMovie. Um, the events are most likely going to load, but your actual projects and stuff won't load within that iMovie. So be aware of that. But other than that, you guys, you guys should have no problem saving your projects to uh, an external drive. Be sure to leave any comments in the comment section below or uh, questions. I'd be glad to help you and uh, catch you guys next tutorial. Later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your love.